Hello Virgo, the Virgin. I am Noelle with followtheplanets.com. Mercury is retrograde, so my webpage got a little funky. Bear with me. Uh, you can get me on Facebook, Follow the Planets as well, or email me. All my information is below. Please subscribe. So uh, your ruler, Mercury, is going direct on November 3rd. So you've been thinking about your earned income, your possessions, and how you balance these things out in an equal sharing type of way that's fair. Um, so that's what your mind has been on. And on the third and around that day is not a time to... Um, sign any new contracts or really communication can just really get out of whack. It's not going to run smoothly around that time and with the election as well. Uh, the election, we're not going to find out the results for about probably another week. So on the third with that direct motion in your earned income area, no, no contracts being signed and nothing that you're like, if you're creating a new project, it could really in your career, it's just not a time to start anything new. Um, just go along, lie low, lie low. That's, that's the message here and uh, wait till he gets up to speed. Now on the 20th of the month, your ruler will move into Scorpio in your third house. So you are really going to be into communicating, uh, using your intellect to talk about things on a very deep level, very deep um, investigative level and using your analytical, your strong Virgo analytical skills to communicate things on a deep level um, starting on the 20th. And um, then on the 14th, backtracking, we have Mars. Mars has been sleeping for two months. On the 14th, he goes direct. And um, you have, may have been taking actions and learning and reviewing things that have to do with joint assets. Uh, your partner's resources as far as mortgage, uh, loans, uh, inheritances, stocks, uh, retirement, big lump sums of cash. You may have been trying to get that going, Virgo, but uh, you may have had to backtrack. On the 14th, you can start moving forward with these assets, joint related and intimacy as well. Um, and he's gonna take about a, a week to get up to speed. So the 14th is when he goes direct and wait a week to start really taking action in these big lump sums of money. Um, on the 15th, the next day, we have a new moon in Scorpio. So, so this new moon could really initiate this, uh, your ruler in, in really thinking about this new beginning that you have in something that has to do with communication. A uh, new beginning in uh, perhaps a contract by then. Um, uh, a new way of, of writing, uh, a new way of blogging. Um, something new regarding that and a new way of also nonverbal communication as well. That's something to think about there. So starting a new beginning in this communication is good, especially since on the 20th, your ruler will go into that area as well. And you're going to be thinking a lot about that new beginning in communication. And it is eclipse season. We have two eclipses. Sometimes we have three. This time it's two. And we have a lunar eclipse in Gemini on November 30th. And then on December 14th, we have 
a solar eclipse in Sagittarius. And the theme here is gonna be about work and life, uh, work and home balance, sorry, work and home balance for the next two years for you, Virgo. And something is coming to an end in your career. Something that has to do with communication. A contract could be ending in your career. Um, and, um, and there's something accumulated around that. Something has, is exposed. And the thing about lunar eclipses is there's no turning back. They are final. Um, so that will be an ending, something related to your career, Virgo. All right, Virgo, um, that is it for November. Please follow me on my pages below and please subscribe and uh, hang in there while Mercury uh, gets up to speed. The first week will be rough. All right, thank you. Until next time.